This is probably the worst physical assault I've seen where a victim survived. A brutal attack in Orangeburg County has left one woman lucky to be alive. Deputies say hours after being released from jail for a December assault, 40-year-old Michael Patterson returned to the Skyland Drive home in Springfield and attacked the woman again. She had been beaten severely in the face and the head with an object that we were later determined to be a, a piece of wood, a one by four. Watch Fox obtained a copy of Patterson's arrest record showing a violent criminal history dating back to 1990. According to records, Patterson has been charged with domestic violence more than five times and several other crimes. Orangeburg County Sheriff's Office Chief of Staff Kenneth Kenzie says Patterson made bond and was ordered by the court to not return to the home. Our victims advocates and our investigators are going to fight uh, as hard as they can to keep Mr. Patterson in jail. And it's definitely our opinion that a person that commits a crime of this magnitude stay there. We just don't need the violent thugs that commit the same crimes over and over again keeping our law enforcement tied up, uh, victimizing our citizens. Under current state law, when a person is arrested for a non-capital offense, they're eligible for bond. State lawmakers are sponsoring a bill that would revoke bond for repeat offenders. Charleston House Representative Chip Limehouse says the bill targets violent crimes including battery, rape, and murder. This is not your usual case where a, a person is released and within a matter of two hours he has reoffended. We take it seriously uh, in every circumstance and, and we bring him to justice as soon as possible. Deputies arrested Patterson Monday afternoon. He now faces attempted murder charges. In Orangeburg County, Rob Starkey, Watch Fox News.